What's up everybody welcome back to the course in this video we are going to learn about the tile parameter in the mid journey where we are going to see that how you can use the tile parameter to create amazing tile patterns for the fabrics wallpapers and the textures so that you can sell them on the print on demand or any other online platforms so without a further ado let's get started. So first of all, let's see what is the use of tile parameter. Tile parameter generates images that can be used as repeating tiles to create seamless patterns for fabrics, wallpapers and the textures. It works with all of the versions of mid journey. If you want to try out different versions, you can do so by using the V parameter to change the model along with the parameter of tile. You can just write test test tile in your prompts in order to add tile kind of effect in the mid journey. Tile only generates a single tile, but you can use some tools online to create multiple patterns among them. And we are also going to see one of these kind of tools, which will help you to create an entire tile kind of pattern through the single results or the results of the mid journey. So without a further ado, let's see the practical demonstration so that we can understand it better. Here we are on our Discord and we will give it a prompt imagine first let's not include the tile parameter and see we will write a portuguese tile pattern okay so this time we haven't included the tile design but let's see that what it considers from the tile if we try to give it a normal prompt all right so here we have results these are some of the amazing tile patterns that it has generated for us and if we want we can upscale anyone among them and then we will use our external tool so Let's first of all upscale. Let's say we like this U3. Let's upscale it. And until this process is happening, let's see one more example where we'll use the tile parameter. So this time we will write imagine and let's say flower garden. And then we have to specify test dash tile in order to use this parameter. And this time what it is going to do is it says, okay, mid journey version four is not compatible with the tile. All right, so I forgot to mention one thing that Currently by default, the version four of mid journey is selected, but the tile parameter does not works in the mid journey version four. You have to either use the version one, two, three, or the mid journey version five in order to create the tile parameter. So what we are going to do from here is we are going to again rerun this prompt, but with the mid journey version five and mid journey version three. So let's see before going ahead. Let's take a look at this thing. Here we have upscaled this amazing tile kind of effect. And if you see the tile design is good, but it has some kind of blurish and the detailings are not that good that we want. And let's see how different our result is when we use the tile parameter. So we will give the same prompt. Let's select the same prompt. And here we will write dash dash tile. And before it, we will specify the version three of mid journey dash dash V and three. So we have given the command and until it is producing the result, let's try the same prompt with the mid journey version five also. So here we have the same prompt and we will write imagine and instead of dash dash v3 we will write version 5 hit the enter key and wait for a few seconds so that we can compare the results among all of these things all right so here we got the result from the version 3 so if we take a look at them we can see the detailings of the tile are pretty good as compared to our very first prompt that we have given where we haven't mentioned the tile parameter instead we have just given a prompt of a portuguese style pattern and it creates the beautiful pattern but the effects are not that we can use for print they are a little kind of blurish and some kind of sketchy kind of thing but on the other hand if we take a look at these results we can see the pixels are much more better in this image and it has more kind of patterns that we have used to see on and many popular fabrications and texture or the tile artworks wherever so in real world these kind of patterns are used more often as compared to the previous one but the design is amazing of the previous one also now let's also take a look at this thing which is same prompt with the version 5 so one thing i can clearly say is that the version 5 is best among all of the different results that i have seen in this video and it creates amazing kind of tile patterns so let's upscale one of them and in my case 
the perfect symmetry is i think u2 and u4 both are good but we will go with u2 and in this case what we want to upscale is let's say u2 again okay so until these things are upscaling let's go to online and see this amazing tool so here we have this url which is pycheung saishang.com and it is basically a tile checker where you can just upload your image it says seamless texture checker quick tool to test and check seamless texture you can just drag and drop your local image file wherever in this page and then you can use the slider to adjust the width of your tile so that you can see that if it is looking good or not and what kind of width you want to decide for the tile so it is a tool for that here we can see we have this specific normal pattern and if we upload any of these images so let's save this image so we will save this image in the desktop so here we have our artwork let's open this folder desktop ai logo and this is our website this is our folder let's drag and drop and here we can see it takes this kind of pattern so that we can verify if the symmetry of the pattern is amazing or not and here we have the tile width to the minimal and this kind of texture is what we are getting so this is how basically you can use these kind of tile effects to create amazing patterns if we want we can increase the size as per our demand and we can create such kind of amazing artworks okay so this is also very fantastic and the pattern is really good we can use it on any kind of summer clothes or whatever we can use it for t-shirts shirts and for many other different purposes even it can be used for the bed sheet or the pillow cover you can easily sell this kind of design anywhere online now let's move back and here we have our other results that are upscaled properly let's save them also so we have given the same image command desktop ai logo here we have saved it and this pattern is not that good so we will only try this pattern and here we can see these results are much more amazing because it is upscaled by using the version 5 the qualities are super awesome and you can just literally use it anywhere wherever you want so these are some of the coolest design and this tool basically allows you to check if your artworks are properly created or not if you see any kind of asymmetry here like some kind of pattern breaking then you should not use that kind of image it means mid journey is pretty efficient to creating amazing kind of textures and the tiles now let's go back to the mid journey and let's see few more examples of the same so here we will write flower garden test test tile and we will specify version 5 hit enter similarly we will write another prompt which is torn cardboard and let's give it a flower so we will write roses and then we will write version 5 tile let's give one more prompt until both of them are progressing so we will write watercolor koi version 5 tile and here we got our results from this prompt which is flower card and tile and if we click on it we can see uh, the designs are good but i don't know that they fits into the tile or not till now according to symmetry i think nobody nothing is that good so what we can do is we can just upscale the u3 from this prompt and here we have our cardboard roses and these are just amazing art pieces that mid journey provided us the thing is there is not anything in the center so i think they might look good or they might not look good just upscale one of them also so we have upscaled both these designs let's also save them and try uploading them and see if they fit properly into that online tool all right and here we got the results from our last prompt which is watercolor koi tile version 5 and it creates these amazing kind of patterns and it is really awesome so if you want you can use u3 or u4 i think u4 is a bit more pleasing so just upscale it here we got it and one thing that we can notice is with the mid journey version 5 the upscaling process is just within few seconds because it by default upscale the images to the highest version so that it doesn't have to upscale it again and also you do not get other options to upscale it further because it is in current development all right so now we have created these kind of different tile patterns let's go to this amazing page and let's first of all drag and drop our flower so this amazing pattern we have just created within few seconds and if we see we can say that the pattern are not that good but they can be used somewhere like text of wallpaper or some background in the video so they are pretty usable what you have to do is you have to just 
find the appropriate width so that this amazing pattern can make sense to the user's eyes and if you make it like this we can see they are not looking like a specific pattern instead they are looking some kind of random stuff but if we increase the width now if we take a look at them we can see all of them are diagonally aligned and it makes a better kind of pattern among them so if you increase them then also they are looking good and you can definitely use it as a wallpaper or a poster or anything like this and you can take the inspirations from online and just use it wherever you want now let's also try out our other results like this flower one so it can be easily printed on the t-shirts this is also another pattern uh, here the symmetry is better as compared to the previous results and literally you can use it anywhere so this is the second design of our flowers then we have our watercolor koi prompt here we have this amazing design of the fishes in the tile format where it makes sense and it is creating this wonderful texture for us so this is how basically you can use the tile parameter in the mid journey to create some of the amazing artworks in the style of tiles or textures you can use them anywhere in the print on demand services or platforms you can try uploading them on different things and i recommend you that go out and search for the uses of tile patterns and you can really create some amazing designs and upload them on many popular websites where you can literally get them sold at an appropriate cost so it is one of the best way to earn money from the mid journey this is what there is a strong need for them in all of the industries and you can give them quick supplies by creating a big portfolio of such kind of amazing artworks and we will see in the later section finally where we are going to see how we can make money with our arts we are going to see some of the platforms where we can upload them all right since we have created all of these amazing images by using the tile parameter that's all for this video i hope you enjoy it if you have any sort of doubt and question in your minds then please leave them in the Q&A section of this course and make sure to leave a positive review so that we can improve the quality of it. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.